Movie critic Michael Cook is here. We're talking about The Duel and Incoming. I'm thinking these are two different types of movies. Two different kind of movies, but all dealing with young men doing stupid stuff. So oh, a bit oh, of a, right bit up of our theme. alley there. Exactly, right up our alley. So let's start off with The Duel. This is available for rent on Amazon Prime for about seven bucks. There are two best friends, played by Dylan Sprouse and uh, Callum McAuliffe. Uh, one of the young men actually has an affair with the girlfriend of the other, uh, and then in retaliation, the other one does something that uh, uh, destroys something sentimental value. So they end up uh, deciding to have a duel because they bump into Patrick Walburton's character who persuades them that they should resolve their differences the old fashioned way and, and conduct a duel. They go, they have, they have to do this duel though. They have, they have to go down to Mexico onto this uh, amazing estate because clearly the dueling is not legal in the U US of A. Uh, these, these four friends go down there and go to this opulent mansion and uh, you know, are introduced to the ways of the duel uh, with other various characters and drug dealers. Uh, this movie, you know, it kind of has some interesting themes of, of masculine and uh, and the and the like. It it has an interesting premise, but sadly it does go on just a, a little bit. It just kind of, kind of falls apart in the second act and becomes uh, very very slow and just frankly kind of boring in in a lot of ways. Mm. The third act it does redeem itself a, a little bit, but uh, you know I, I love the premise of the idea. This film was shown at the recent uh, Arkansas uh, uh, Film Festival, the uh, Cinema, Cinema Land. So there there are some intriguing elements uh, to it, uh, and and but this film. I, I did enjoy it. I, I'm, I'm giving kind of, I'm sounding kind of okay. wishy-washy. Yeah, you are. But but I, I take did, a stand. I, take it? a stand. I, I did enjoy <laughs> it to 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 an extent because of the interplay between these four friends and just the ridiculous ridiculousness of the premise, and that's kind of a, a compliment. Uh, you know, having a duel in this uh, day and age. So all in all, I'll give this film a seven out of ten. So okay. it's. It's okay, I guess, is the best way if to it. If it hadn't gotten so boring for in the middle of it, you yeah, know? Yeah, it would probably be a little bit better, exactly. Now let's talk about the next film. Uh, this premieres today, uh, recently uh, on Netflix. It's called Incoming. You also have uh, four best friends. This time, though, they are high school freshmen. And uh, these young men, uh, all like, like a lot of teen movies, they all have different uh, goals. One young man wants to uh, wants to start dating the girl of his dreams who's the best friend of his sister. Uh, one young man wants to become cool and have his brother accept him, uh, so on and so forth. So they, uh, one of the brothers, one of the men's, young men's uh, older brother, they throw a party and like all teen movies, uh, you know, insanity ensues at this party that everybody is trying to get into. To its credit, this movie, um, the four lead stars who I've never seen before, uh, these are all teenagers. A lot of times when you have these teen movies, they're played by 20-year-olds, maybe even 30-year-olds mm -hmm. in the case of Beverly Hills 90210. Uh, but here they're, they're played by teenagers. And on the one hand, you did, uh, I did enjoy, again, like in the previous film, the interplay between the, 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 these four men is fun. But on, on the other side, this movie, you've seen it so many times before and done so much better. It felt like they took every 1980s teen comedy trope and tried to stuff it into this movie and threw in a, a, a sprinkle of, of super bad uh, <laughs> a, along the way. But there you see Bobby Cannavale is probably the only recognizable actor. Uh, he plays the, uh, the high school chemistry teacher who ends up at the party that he frankly he should not be at. You yeah, or not, he should end yeah, it. Exactly. You should not be at a high school party with kids drinking if you're at the high school. But again, the ridiculous of the premise. So this movie was, I just, was just not funny. Uh, you've seen it before. If you want a teen comedy scene, su see, watch Superbad. Skip this film. I give it a four out of ten. Ooh. So just not not a good use of your time. Incoming is outgoing. Hey, <laughs> that's a good a good quote there. <laughs> All right, Rance.